Math. It's a subject many kids struggle with, and then the parents, of course, struggle right along with them when it comes to homework. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. This is Nate Evans, a Mathnasium Center director and owner Rick Davis, here to tell us how they can help. You're waving the SOS flag. Hello, <laughs> gentlemen. Great to see you. So what is Mathnasium? Uh, Mathnasium is a math learning center where we specialize in helping kids with math, ages uh, so grades second all the way up through calculus. And so this is a custom made plan because a lot of kids I'm sure who come to see you, they're at different levels when they get there. So how do you make sure that a student is getting his or her needs met? Absolutely. We start them off with an assessment and that assessment's going to be personalized to them. So we find out where their gaps are and what they struggle with and we're going to build them a learning plan just for their needs. So why does it seem so many kids stress out when it comes to math? Why is that such a difficult subject for so many students? I think it's just frustrating. <laughs> yeah. they, they run into problems and they try it for so long and then they just get to the point where they don't even want to try anymore. They've ran into so many walls. And when, you when you're a parent, you, we don't want to see our little ones oh, of course struggling not. with any subject. Of course so, not. And then we get anxiety as well oh, because absolutely. they're stressing out. So this isn't a tutoring center. I mean, this is a place where you really are helping kids get that light bulb on. Absolutely. Yeah, we want to build confidence. We want to see them improve, um, not just with their homework, but with the things that they've been struggling with in the past so that we can build them up and get them caught back up to where they need to go. And that's what it's all about. You don't want that lag to keep continuing because then your student falls farther and farther behind. Okay, I'm going to have you do a switcheroo, <laughs> okay. Rick. I was, I've been sweating this. They always bring <laughs> examples to show us how they can help students. So what are you going to show us today? Well, one of the most difficult uh, concepts kids have in, uh, when they start high school getting into algebra is dealing with fractions. They just don't understand fractions. So today we're going to talk about something we call the law of sameness, uh, which helps to understand and deal with fractions. We start with an apple and a banana, and, and if I ask you to, if you have an apple and a banana, uh, what do you have if you add them together? Uh, what you don't have is, is a banana apple. <laughs> <laughs> but what you do have, what do you have? You fruit. You have fruit. So if we just change the name of an apple and a banana to a common name, okay, we have fruit. So the denominator is simply a name, and in order to add fractions that don't have a common name, we need to change the name so that we have something in common. Okay. So the, what two and three have in common, this is where you start talking about multiples. Okay. What two and three have in common is they both go into six. Six, right. So if they want, if they want to change that to six, they need to change the quantity. So we have the quantity over the name. Mm -hmm. I just need to change the quantity so it still represents a half, mm -hmm. and one half in terms of sixths is three. So we change this to sorry, we change this to three sixths, and I'm right-handed, so I won't write it down. But mm -hmm. we change that to three sixths. Okay. Uh, similarly, with a third, we're going to change that name. We have two of those, and if we change the name to a six, so we have two six. We can easily add three six and two six, and now we have. Five, six. Five, six. Yeah. Wow. So again, coming together to find the common denominator right. is all about just finding something that is the same. The law of sameness. Right. You guys always blow our minds <laughs> with the different examples. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. A little tutorial for you out there. And we do have a special offer. If you have a student who is struggling in math, or maybe you're getting a little frustrated with how they are dealing with homework, you can get an assessment and two one-hour sessions for just $39. They have 12 locations to find the mathnasium nearest you go to mathnasium.com